Hello everyone, Jordan here, and today we have another video for you guys, and today we have McDonnell Douglas MD-11 in the KLM livery. Now just a little quick announcement, uh, we are planning on an MD-11 tutorial, this very aircraft right here once we do a few slight changes to it, but that tutorial isn't going to come out for a little while, so if you want to see this aircraft and all the cool liveries we have for it, like the house livery and the freighter variant that we're going to be working on, or you want to just work or be around this aircraft before the tutorial comes, join our server at the Aero Team server. The information to that is in the description and whatnot. Anyways, to begin with, as we all know, the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 is the successor to the DC-10. While it was not as successful as the DC-10, it was still a pretty cool looking airplane. So here's the nose of the D- I'm sorry, well of the DC-10 and the MD-11. Right here we have a light, the forward exit, the nose gear, which is a little far back compared to other airliners, but we have the KLM text, the second L2, and the R2 exit is right over here. We have some details on the top of the fuselage, we have a SATCOM antenna. We have the overwing exit right here, and then we have the aft exit in the back of the aircraft. We have the number two engine right here, the signature trijet feature of the aircraft. We have a logo light on the horizontal stabilizers. We have the stabilizer trim marked out in the gray there, and the entire horizontal stabilizer section right here. Uh, interesting fact, Kalem uses the, well they used back when they flew the aircraft, the General Electric CF6 engines, and you can tell by the distinct kind of pointiness at the back of the engines. In comparison to something like I think Delta, they used the Pratt & Whitney's where the engine was much less, well it wasn't pointy at all detail. But to continue on, we have the vertical stabilizer with the KLM logo. Now this is in one to one scale, so I have abs, there's no way I can fit KLM on that properly, but it's good enough. Continuing on, at the wing of the aircraft, we have the engine, I'm sorry, we have engine number one right here for the uh, General Electric CF-6, the same one on the tail over there, and we have the wing, we have a wing light right there, well, a body light on the fuselage. We have the signature MD-11 winglets right there. Now, if this was a larger scale, or even like a giant MD-11, we could outline the bottom uh, winglet in red, which is what the real aircraft is, but, you know, it's one-to-one, -one, so can't really do that. But we have some winglet details right here. We have the flap track fairings, and we also have the landing gear right here. There's a center landing gear as well for the MD-11s, though there is an option for this to be uh, stowed away. And I think that's it for the underside. You know, we have the pylon right here, which is kind of interesting. The entire DC-10 and MD-11 pylon, it's like it just swoops under the wing, which is pretty intriguing. On the other side of the aircraft, we have some cargo bays. We have the aft cargo bay. Let me go to game of spectator if I can try to squeeze into it. It's very small. It's very small. Well, not in reality. I mean, in reality, it's a pretty nice, good size, but in one-to-one, -one, it's terribly small. So as you can see, here's the forward cargo bay. And this one's slightly bigger. We have a little bit of a section where you will load the pallets and cargo for the aircraft and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the exterior of the aircraft. So, uh, is there anything over here? No. So, uh, yeah, we can... Uh-oh. So we can tour the interior now. Alright, so we're now on the interior of the aircraft. So as you can see right here, here's the business class section. And uh, it was pretty small. Uh, thanks to Mr. Mind for... Uh, oh, he's gone. Well, uh, he helped out with getting the interior fixed and ready to go for today's video. But the interior was a little dated, kind of 80s, 90s like. And it was like that until its retirement. So some curtains right there. And then it's just uh, regular economy and whatnot throughout the rest of the cabin. So, I do think, I'm sorry, I do believe there was like a premium economy or business class thing, but nothing, nothing significant. Anyway, here's the aft galley. We have the rear exit right here, um, a lavatory right there, uh, you know, some more lavatories, the main cabin, you know, we have the main exit, I'm sorry, the L2 and R2 exits, hello, Mr. Mind. Um, these are the exits you most likely would have boarded when this aircraft was flying. Okay, Mind says, very important message must be added to the video. All right, why not? Alright, so we are in the cockpit of the MD-11. Now, thanks to Mr. Mind for making this a lot better than what our last one was. So we've got the throttle quadrant right here, the main panel, the overhead panel, and then the first officer's seat. Now this is terribly small, but Mr. Mind's skills paid the bills, so. We have this plug-in where you can sit in seats, so. Yeah, All the, yeah as you can see there, there's Mr. Mind sitting there. Wait, can I put this block over here? Yeah, there he is. All the more to join the Aero Team server, where you can be doing this. <laughs> Sub to pig. 
Alright, anyways, that's pretty much all we have for this relatively short video. As a quick recap, if you would like to mess around with aircraft like this, join our Aero Team server since the tutorial will probably not come out anytime soon. Well, I mean soon, but not recent soon, so... Anyways, we have the information to that in the description. If you would like to use our texture pack that you see with all the goodies that you've been able to see in the tutorials and whatnot, the link to that is in our Discord server, which is that is also linked in the description of the video. A lot of cool stuff is down there. You should check it out. Um, uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it. So uh, you remember, we all know KLM. They had a 95 delivery celebrating 95 years of McDonnell Douglas aircraft, and then they axed it because. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I like how like, then they axed it because McDonald Douglas got wrecked. Anyways, thanks for watching. Check out the Aero Team channel and as well as our server and everything else. And I will see you in the next episode. You can also check out Mr. Mind's channel where he uploads, uh, he's basically a little Wendover, so.